And you may want to sit on your bolster because we're going to actually do a little bit of neck work here. So make sure you've got either a folded up blanket or a rolled up blanket and you can sit right on it to elevate your pelvis. And then once you're sitting, you're going to roll your shoulders up and back a few times. Move your head around. Checking in with how your neck feels. Take a few big deep breaths. When you're ready, drop your left ear over towards your left shoulder. And you can just kind of rock your head from front to back. You can start to reach your right hand away. And then try rotating your arm and flexing and extending your wrist and see what you can find here along, um, along the right side of your neck and down your arm. Give yourself a little massage here, kind of pressing the pads of your fingers back by your spine and then pulling your fingers across the fibers of your muscles. And if you run into an area that has like a tension, uh, an area of tension or like not, you can just press into it and kind of give it some pressure. Take deep breaths. And then come back to center. And just take a moment to sit and rest. And then start to take your right ear over towards your right shoulder. You can rock your head from front to back. And cross your body and bring your right hand up to your neck you and stretch your left arm out. Start to move your left arm, rotate a little bit. One of the things I like to do here is press along the underside of my collarbone. Notice any tension there. You can also kind of pinch down your neck muscles, the long neck muscle, the SCM or SMS. Take a couple more breaths here. And then come back to center and just rest your neck in an upright position. You can kind of uh, draw your chin in towards your throat and then tip your head back just a little bit. When you're ready, come to hands and knees and start to move your cat and cow. On your inhale, draw your shoulders back, look forward. On your exhale, round. Start to move in any way you want, keeping your mind focused right here, noticing how you feel this morning. Start to 
Rock your weight around on your wrists and hands. Tuck your toes, stretch your feet. Stretch through your sides. Move your shoulders around a little bit. And then when you're ready, come into down dog. Nod your head yes and no, here and downward dog. Go so really slow. When you're ready, walk your feet forward to your hands. Halfway lift. Forward fold, bend your knees. Let your head and arms hang, you can sway a bit. Take another halfway lift, forward fold. Two more breaths. Extra long exhale here. On your next inhale, reach up and come in the mountain. Take a breath or two here in mountain. Shoulders relax back. On your next inhale, bring your arms up. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Step back to plank. Lower yourself down. Prop yourself up your feet. And start by rocking your shoulders from side to side a little bit. Kind of leaning over one direction, maybe feeling a stretch through your low back or through your side. And then look forward. Uh, take a big inhale as you look forward, and then on your exhale, draw your left shoulder back as your right shoulder comes forward. And look back in the direction. Inhale back to center, go the other way. And if you'd rather stay looking back for a whole nother breath, you can just kind of move at whatever pace you want. Just think about lengthening the muscles that run along your spine. forward. And on an inhale, lower yourself down. Push up to high plank. And back to down dog. One more exhale. On your inhale, walk your feet forward to your hands. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Reach up. Come into mountain. Reach up. Forward fold. Halfway lift. 
the back plank. Take your vinyasa, lower yourself down. Maybe take an extra breath and up dog or the back bend of your choice. Go back to down dog. When you're in down dog, nod your head around a little bit and then let it hang, relaxing your neck. One more exhale here. Walk your feet forward or step your foot forward. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Reach up. Come in the mountain. Reach up. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Step back to plank. Move through your vinyasa your way to the rhythm of your breath. One more exhale. Walk your feet to hands. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Reach up. Come into mountain. Reach up. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Step back to plank. Take your vinyasa. Take a little exploratory movement here in downward dog. Walk your feet forward to your hands, halfway lift. Forward fold. Reach up. And bring your arms down by your sides. I want to get right into balance this morning. So start to shift your weight on your right foot and just take a relaxing, gentle, easy version of tree. I just want to take this pose early on so we can start to still our minds a little bit. Let your mind go blank here or as blank as, as you can allow it to be. Focusing on your breath, keeping it smooth and even. Practicing your focus using drishti. How can you relax a little more here? And gently step out of it. Take a little movement and use your focus in tree to help still your mind. This is also stimulating our parasympathetic nervous system. So this is helping us relax. Create a little movement, but keep the ease, as much ease as you can in this posture. A 
and then step out of it and come into mountain. Reach up with your inhale. Exhale your hands to heart center. Step your left foot back. Pyramid pose. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Go forward and down. Put a little bend in your front knee. You can move a little bit here. Halfway lift on an inhale, lengthening your spine. Exhale, tuck your chin into your chest and start to round your forehead down towards your right knee or thigh. Round out your back. And then on your inhale, halfway lift again, lengthening your spine. Put your uh, left hand over by your right foot. We're going to take revolved pyramid. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist to your right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reach your right arm up. And if you'd like, you can take your gaze up to your right thumb. Try not to reach with your jaw. Try to think of lengthening your neck, but also kind of keeping your chin tucked a little bit. On your next exhale, bring your right arm down. Modified triangle. So you can bring your right hand to your right ankle or shin now. Turn your left toes out. Left arm up. Big space. One thing I'm really enjoying doing in triangle these days is taking my left arm right up by my left ear and then taking a little movement from there. So try that, especially if you've got issues with shoulder mobility. You can take your gaze down at your right foot, really checking in that you're pushing down with your right ball mound of your big toe, and then take your gaze up towards the ceiling. One more inhale. On your exhale, bring your left hand down. Step your feet together, halfway lift. Forward fold. Reach up. Come into mountain. Reach up. Bring your hands to heart center. Step your right foot back. Pyramid. Inhale, lift. Exhale, go forward. Take a little movement here. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Inhale. Tuck your chin, round your forehead down. So you want to compress at your throat. But you also want to round out your back here. Come back to a long spine, halfway lifting. Revolved. Bring your right hand over by your left foot. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhaling. Exhale, twist. You can kind of look down and up. Find a little more space through your throat and your neck. One more inhale. And on your exhale, bring your left hand out. Turn your right toes out. Triangle. Bring your left hand to your shin. Open up your right side. Create a little movement in your right side. Protect your front knee. There's a little bend in your left knee. You're holding it there with strength. And you can 
take your gaze up and down. You may want to take it up and focus on your right thumb to challenge your balance here. You might want to take a little movement with your right arm. And then with the next exhale, bring your right hand back down to the mat, step your feet together, halfway lift. Forward fold. Reach up. Bring your arms down by your side. Reach up. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Step back to plank. Move through your vinyasa. Move with precision to the rhythm of your breath. Right foot forward for low lunge. Take a few breaths, kind of rocking from front to back in low lunge. You can really stretch out the bottom of your left foot back there. Right knee stacks above right ankle. Lower your back knee. We're going to take dragon pose here. Adding a little compression at our throat. So you want your fingertips or hands down on the mat. You want to press down with your feet. And you can kind of control how much you're opening in the left hip. You can kind of pull yourself forward. You can back off with that engagement of your feet on the mat. Tuck your chin into your chest and let your head fall forward. You can even get real heavy over your right leg, just kind of letting your upper body lay on your right leg. The most important thing is you're tucking your chin. Use ujjayi breath here. On your inhale, bring your gaze back up. Back your hips up for half splits. Come on to your right heel. Point your right toe up, kind of lean back. Find a big stretch in the back of your right leg. Now lengthen your spine and look out in front of you as you kind of sink your hips back. Work the stretch you're feeling in the front of your right leg. And then point your toes down and rotate your leg in and out a little bit. You can kind of swing your hips a little bit, working the length in your right leg. I like to push on the top of my foot and stretch the top of my foot, so you can try that too. Okay, we're going to come back to the bottom of the right foot. Hips go forward now. Come up. You can bring your hands to your hips, kind of start to lengthen the front of your body. Take your gaze up. You can stretch your throat here. Keep your jaw closed. And if you'd like, you can bring your arms up and then kind of draw them open and back for goalpost arms, drawing your shoulder blades together. And if you want to do that motion a few times, inhaling your arms up and then exhaling them open and back. Feels really good. Create space. Open heart. One more exhale. Rebuild low lunge. Tuck your back toes. Step your feet together at the top of your mat. 
Halfway lift. Forward fold. Reach up. And come into mountain. Reach up. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Step back to plank. Take your vinyasa. Once you're back and down dog, take a little movement. All right, low lunge. Bring your left foot forward. There you go. Take a little movement in your low lunge. Stretch out your back foot. And then lower your back knee. Set up for dragon here. Left ankle stacks under left knee. Root down with your feet. Tuck your chin into your chest. And round your spine. Think of compressing at your left hip while you find length and space in the front of your right hip. You get heavier with every exhale. On your inhale, look forward and draw your hips back. Come onto your left heel, coming into half split. Kind of swing your hips from side to side. Start to lean back a little bit. You can point your left toe straight up. Look forward, lengthen your spine. Kind of like you're drawing your left hip back, right hip forward, and then sinking down. And you can point your left toes forward and down and find some movement there. You can also use your left hand to push them down, find a little more length through your shin and top of your foot. Okay, bring the bottom of your left foot down to the mat. Rebuild that knee down lunge. Left knee stacks above left ankle. You can start to come up. Inhale your arms up. Exhale. You can open up for goal post if you want. You can do whatever you want with your arms here. Try to take your gaze up, finding a little more length in the front of your chest and neck. Creating big space in the front of your body. One more inhale. Exhale. Come in, bringing your hands back down. Step your feet together at the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Reach up. Bring your arms down by your sides. Reach up with your inhale. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Step back to plank. Take your vinyasa. Level up to high plank. 
Take side plank. Move your weight onto your right hand. You can turn and open up to the right. You may want to lower your right leg. You could lift your left leg if you wanted to. Come back to half plank. Change sides. Plant your left hand. Bring your right fingertips up. Come back to high plank and lower yourself down with control. Shoulder roll. Take your left arm out. Use your right hand to guide yourself back. You can inhale your right arm open back. Gentle lift of your head. One more inhale, and on your exhale, come back under the front side of your body. Change sides, take your right arm out. Roll yourself back. back onto the front side of your body. Cobra Kriya. Bring your hands in by your uh, chest and then slide them out a little bit, lifting your elbows. On your inhale, come up tall, look forward. On your exhale, twist and lower your right shoulder down. Bring your right ear down towards the mouth. Inhale, come up to center. Exhale, go the other way. And just start going with your breath. Keep your breath strong and supportive here. If you want to speed up a little bit, speed your breath up along with your movement. One more round or two more rounds. You want to end on the opposite side you started on. Come to center, lower down, and then push back to child two. Take your knees wide, hips back to heel. Get your breath uh, back to a smooth and even rhythm here. Listen to the sound of your breath.
these last few exhales to get let your hips get a little heavier. Let your spine relax and lengthen. On your inhale, rise up. We're going to set up for two passes at camel. We'll do two passes at camel, right in row. Knees are a little wider than hips. Really anchor yourself with your shins and your feet. Tip your pubic bone forward and up and squeeze your glutes together. Inhale, lengthen the front of your body. Exhale, stretch the front side of your body by lifting your heart up and taking a little back bend. And if you want, we're not gonna reach back in this first version, we're just using this as a warm up. But if you wanna go back a little more, you can also lean back, using your quadricep muscles to lower your back. You come up, take a little break, you come to hands and knees, and just take a gentle version of cat, pretty cow. Get set up for a second pass of camel. This time, if you want to lower down and grab your heels, if you know that you can do that and you're feeling safe and empowered with that today, do that. But always play it on the safe side. Knees are a little wider than hip width. Glutes are uh, squeezing in and up. Pubic bones pointing up. Inhaling. Exhale, you can start to go back. You can lean back if you want to reach back and grab your heels. Now, if you can get your heels here, you can start to relax a little more in the front of your hips. You can go for a bigger back bend. You can let your head hang back. I like to hang my head back and then lift up and look forward. Strengthen your neck. Try it out here. Move with control. And then when you're done, come up and out of it safely. Make your way to down dog. Take your time. Once you're in downward dog, take a little movement with your head and neck. Walk your feet forward to your hands. Sit back and lay back. I'm going to take bridge. Feet are hip width apart. Lift your hips. Toes and knees point down towards the front edge of your mat. Once your hips are up, you can hold hands under your body. Walk your shoulders under your body. Get your hips up a little higher. Take big, powerful breaths here. Use your inhale to lift. Use your exhale to push down with your feet. Now take an inhale, hold your breath at the top, and start to lower yourself down with your exhale, one vertebrae at a time, bringing your pelvis down last. I'll even come up onto my tiptoes to slow it down. Bringing the pelvis down at the very end. Walk your feet wide and rock one knee in and then the other. Drop your left knee in, cross your right leg over the top of it to weigh it down, if that feels okay. I love the way it feels in my hip, but if it hurts your knee, don't do it. You can also reach your left arm up and find a little more length in your left side here. And release. Drop your other knee in. Cross your left foot over the top of your right knee to weigh it down. See how that feels. Should feel good. Or you can take your right arm up and over, kind of stretching through your right side a little more. Okay. 
come back to center. Set the feet up. Cross your right ankle over the top of your left thigh and hug the back of your left leg in. You kind of rock from side to side here. Feel a big stretch in your right hip and glutes. So I'll normally roll over. You can roll over to the left side a little bit. Relax through your right glutes a little more. Come back to center. Lower your left foot, but keep your right foot on top of your thigh. And then you're just going to twist your lower body to the left, bringing the bottom of your right foot down to the mat. Point your right knee up towards the ceiling and away from you. You want to feel this on the outside of your right hip. You can even bring your right hand to your hip. Try to relax through there a little more. Come back to center, change sides. Cross your left ankle over the top of your right thigh. Hug it in. And you can kind of rock from side to side. Maybe even rocking over to the right a little bit. Relax through your left glute. Come back to center, lower your right foot. Keep your left ankle crossed over the top of your right thigh. Bring the bottom of your left foot over to the floor. And then point your left knee up towards the ceiling and maybe even away from you a little bit. You can bring your left hand to your left hip and if this is where you should be feeling it. And try to relax as much as you can. Back to center. Hug both knees up. Feet are side by side. Kind of wrap your arms around your knees. You rock from side to side. Rock it around on your low back. As you exhale, hug your thighs in a little more. Think of using this pose to give your digestive organs a little massage. So you kind of hug them in as you exhale and rocking from side to side. Lower your left leg, keep your right knee up. Plug it in. And then go into supine twist. Guide your knees, cross your body, right arm stretches out. Gaze up to the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, look down your right arm. Inhale, length. Exhale, twist. Bring your knee back to center. 
Lower your right leg. Hug your left knee up. Give it a squeeze and then guide your knee across your body for supine twist. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist. On your inhale, bring your knee back to center. Hug both knees up. This time, rock from front to back a few times. Up and down your spine. And rock yourself up. Grab your bolster. A, a yoga block would work here too. Rolled up blankets, what I'm using. You want to put it long behind you so you can take supported fish and open up through the front of your chest. Lay yourself back. Find space. You can kind of let your head hang off if you'd like. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. You may also want to bring the soles of your feet together. Take big deep breaths here. Can you breathe a little deeper and a little slower here? And then when you're ready, make your way to Shavasana. Gently roll down off the side of your bolster. Come into Shavasana. Take any other movement you may want to take here. And then allow your body to get still.
Begin to deepen your breath. And gently rock your head over one side. And then the other. When ready, gently roll over onto your side. Take a few deep breaths. Help yourself come up to a comfortable seat. Rub your hands together. Thank you for joining me for yoga today. May you always speak your truth. May you be healthy, may you be strong. Have a wonderful day.